What up, it's your boy Drew. And guess what, America? It's time for a divorce. Even Dr. Fauci agrees. Today's article here says, Fauci predicts there could be two Americas between vaccinated and unvaccinated zones. And I agree with him, man. I've been saying this for a long time. You can't believe in no-fault divorce and just break up the family for any reason. And then at the same time, force all these different factions within a country to intermingle and operate together. That's incompatible beliefs, and you can't have that. This article says Fauci's concerned about the gap of the vaccinated and unvaccinated population as the Delta variant of COVID-19 spreads, saying there could be two Americas. Please bring it on. The more contagious and aggressive Delta variant has reached nearly every state and accounts for 26.1 of the COVID-19 cases as of Wednesday, according to CDC. When you have such a low level of vaccination superimposed upon a variant that has a high degree of efficiency of spread, what you're going to see among under-vaccinated regions, be that states, cities, or countries, you're going to see these individual types of blips, Fauci said. It's almost like there's going to be two Americas. Now, I don't want to almost like. I want it to just go full. Let's do this right here. Pick a line in the sand, Mississippi River. I don't care where it is. And give everyone a couple weeks to pick a side and just get where they need to get. Because obviously this is never going to end. Let's just tear the band-aid off and do it now. And they say because the vaccination rates among the U.S. population have slowed since mid-April with the lowest coverage reported among more young adults, according to the CDC. I mean, they're bribing you with everything they can to try to get you to do it. Even this out of touch boomer here, Gene Simmons of KISS says, don't come to our shows if you don't have that jab. You can give to Gene Simmons. No one wants to go to your show anymore. They claim 66% of adults had at least one jab but less than 47% of the population has been fully inoculated. Mississippi, Alabama, Arkansas, Wyoming, and Louisiana have less than 35% of residents fully vaccinated, the CDC noted. Over something that they say even in their own storyline is 99.9% .9 survivable. You can see where common sense resides. This is entirely avoidable entirely preventable if you are vaccinated you diminish drastically your risk of getting infected and even more dramatically your risk of getting seriously ill if you're not vaccinated you're at considerable risk fauci says in the article they're still pumping that they strongly recommend voluntary usage of masks even for vaccinated individuals fauci said he does not anticipate the cdc revising its guidance for now, the CDC recommendations stand that if, in fact, you are vaccinated, fully vaccinated, you are protected, you do not need to wear a mask indoors or outdoors, Fauci says. But it's obvious to me it's never going to end. The push is never going to end. The variants are never going to end. And if you just want to be left alone and do what's best for the kids, then we should follow the same advice of the people that believe in and advocate for divorced, in my opinion. The only problem will be once you make this imaginary line in the sand and the two groups are separated, the group that wants to push the jabs and wants to push the mask and everything, they would immediately begin encroaching on the territory of the people that just want to be left alone. And that's the problem with government to begin with, is you have busy bodies that want to impose their will on other people getting involved with government because that's the type of person they are. And the type of person that just wants to be left alone, they're not going to get involved in government because they don't want to push stuff down other people's throats. There's too big of a divide in the ideologies right now. So I'm all for it. Split it in half. Split it in four. I don't care. People want to live by like-minded individuals no matter where you are on the political spectrum. So I say let's just do it, man. Pull the trigger however it's got to happen. And let the chips fall where they may. Because I think the people that want to be left alone would be willing to defend that. It's just the thought I've been having for a while. And that Fauci article was confirmation of what I've been thinking of. So I'd like to hear your comments. Leave a comment in the chat of what you think should happen. And if you're new here, 
Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Chalkbodyoutline.com is all my links. Otherwise, until next time, I appreciate your time. And peace out.